belong to us. Try and pull something on Barbieri. That dead eye fucker will find out. Meaning he'll come after not just you and me, but Ma, Penny, kids, everybody. No, we gotta get ahead of this. We could always put it on Burke. <laughs> no, dipshit. This is all going on you. And fuck, Bark! You talk too much. <laughs> Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standing. My boys are on the way. Slash that slaughterhouse from him. That fuck Barbieri will have to react. Uh, Thomas Burke he came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. Salutations and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robert Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm hearing one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. People are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you?
Who the fuck are you? I'm the one saving you, thieving ass. Let's go. the sunny blue it's really fucked him up with the butcher sonny's back over at the robert o. his language has taken an especially colorful turn of late i take it the butcher didn't appreciate sonny's loan shark and protection rackets being disrupted you got that right and the shinola has hit the fan sonny set on getting things back to normal you know keeping his people more scared of him than you we'll see about that keep your head down till this is over here yeah? Chubb's funeral? Too many fucking funerals lately. Fucking Vito, man. Didn't think he had it in him. Taking out Bull and his whole goddamn crew? Chubbs was loyal as hell. Loved working for Bull. Didn't he just get married? Yeah, he married that little redhead used to work at the desk at the dock union. Ellen? Ellen, yeah. I guess he knocked her up or something. Jesus. To Chubbs. <laughs> Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Try to put that rabbit dog down. And how did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. i scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof.
One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My da asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? Ah, shite girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. The left, they're almost on ya. give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. 
We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either. One of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived. Or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little mend what's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does it? You're done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. <laughs> the world fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But a deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Uh. 